Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Now, this one, I was going to do a little sketch on it, and I was going to, you know, introduce it in a, in a way, you know, that I, I don't normally do, but I thought that it probably doesn't deserve it, to be fair. Now, probably already judging it already, but... Generally, generally speaking, you know the term scraping the bottom of the barrel. Well, I do believe the barrel has well and truly been scraped. In fact, it's probably been scraped all the way from the bottom and there's just a massive ditch here. Today, my friends, we are trying a drink that's been around for quite a while and I've been holding off reviewing this for a long, long time, but it has finally come to review Lambrini. Yep, Lambrini. This, uh, well, <laughs> what can I say about it? This, this drink has been around since uh, 1993. I actually thought it had been um, around a lot earlier than that, but I do believe it's probably Baby Sham I'm uh, thinking of, which is another one I'm gonna probably have to review. Now you're probably thinking, well, hold on, why are you reviewing Lambrini? Because normally it's in with the wines. Well, surprise, surprise, it does market itself as a lightly sparkling Perry. And wouldn't you believe it, it is actually made with pears. I, that completely blew my mind, really. Did, did not actually think that, you know, the term Perry on this actually meant it was made from pears. But yes, it is, and that's why it's fair game on this channel. Uh, yeah, this is, well, I mean, I don't like, it's, it was sort of a, a stereotypical sort of thing back in the early 90s, where it was sort of marketed for more, uh, the, the female audience of the of the drinking you know of the drinking culture. I mean now it's more uh, you know obviously like wines and gin and tonics and everything and obviously craft beers you know and all that. But uh, back then it was usually Lambrini and Hooch that you would find um, together on the shelf and you know they would market this more towards women. Um, you know with the whole like love hearts on this and everything to make it all like girly and everything sort of sort of thing but it's certainly not girly in strength this uh, is 7.5 percent abv now uh after doing a little bit of research they actually reduced the abv of this to a uh, 6.8 in 2018 so that kind of tells you how old this bottle is and uh, i do have my concerns really because one it doesn't have a date on it and two when I actually bought it and took it home, it does have little bits floating in it. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to... Oh yeah, there you go. There you go, you can see them, little floaters in there. Can you see them? Now, I don't know if it's supposed to have them, but I am slightly concerned about this, but there we go. Now, this uh, thing is produced by Halewood International, and as I said, it has been around since 1993. And there was a brief period where Lambrini actually... Um, brought out a couple of ciders as well. They, uh, they were strawberry and cherry. Uh, they are still around today, but they're not known as ciders. I think it is literally just flavored, uh, flavored Lambrini now. But uh, uh, shockingly, this constitutes around 53.6% of the total Perry sales in the UK, which is absolutely mind boggling because you don't really see this about anymore. So that's, I don't know whether that's a fake statistic or not, but if it is, that is just incredible. Anyway, I am waffling on. At least there's no artificial colorings, flavorings, or sweeteners in this, and there's 63 calories per 100 mils, so at least you know how many calories you're ingesting if you have the whole thing. I'll say this right now, I am not having this entire bottle at all. Not, not in the slightest. A lightly sparkling Perry, enjoy chilled. That is all the info that you get on the bottle. Um, yeah, I'm waffling on to sort of, you know, prolong the inevitable, really, but... Can't wait any longer, I suppose. Let's uh, let's get this screw cap off and just see what Lambrini's all about. I'll say this now, Lambrini is ridiculously cheap. I mean, this was reduced, but I still got it for £1.49 for this massive bottle, so... Red flags are already being raised, but we shall see. As I said, I have no idea how old this bottle is. I, I couldn't tell you because it's just been sitting on um, the supermarket shelves for a while and it's just been delisted and obviously, you know, just tried to sell it through, but what does it smell like? 
Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, God, I am not actually making that up. I nearly, I nearly gagged then. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh. Oh, that does not smell good. Oh, that is making me feel sick. Oh, okay. Holy moly, keep it together. Whoa. Okay, I've had... I've had ciders that when I've tasted it, it's made me gag. But I think this is the first drink that's actually made me gag just from me smelling it. Oh my goodness me. That smells... That smells of rotting fruit. Mixed with, mixed with sewage. Oh, that... Is it supposed to smell like that? I don't think it's supposed to smell like that. Oh, okay. This could be an interesting review, couldn't it? I am literally pouring the tiniest amount into this glass. Um, because, yeah, if you, if you think I'm having a lot of this after that smell, you have got another thing coming. Oh, my goodness. Right, well, before I smell it in the glass, that's what it looks like. Heavily carbonated. Uh almost crystal clear, but it does have a limey, almost pissy sort of hue to it. I think it's trying to look a little bit like a champagne, isn't it? It certainly doesn't smell like one. Oh God, do I really want to smell it again? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, that is terrible. That is so full of sulfites. That's, that is basically, it's, it's sulfites and rotting fruit. It's like I'm standing next to a compost heap with a load of rotten eggs on it. <sighs> to say I'm not looking forward to trying this is a bit of an understatement. Normally I'm not biased, but really this is not looking good for Lambrini, is it? But, oh well, <laughs> let's see what it tastes like, shall we? Cheers everyone, and here's to Lambrini, the original one. I'm literally taking the tiniest sip of this. Cheers. Okay. It doesn't... I don't think it tastes as bad as it smells, hold on. Okay. Okay, the taste is not as bad as the smell, but there's not really much of a taste. Mmm. It's still not great though. I'm gonna say this right now, it's still not great. I don't know, there's something that seems to be slightly off about this. I'm getting a sort of a uh, slight burning sensation on the roof of my mouth. Pretty sure that's not meant to happen. There's no hints of pears or anything like that um, that, I, that I can mention. It, it does taste like a really cheap champagne, like ridiculously cheap champagne like a £1.49 bottle of cheap champagne, uh, which I would imagine this is sort of what it is trying to market itself as, you know, a really cheap alternative to the, you know, the £30, £40 bottles of bubbly that, um, you know, you could just pick up if you want to have a celebration and everything. But I don't think I'd want to, have, want to celebrate with this sort of thing. I'd rather actually pay the extra money and, um, yeah, and, and just not buy this. Oh, it does concern me that there is bits floating in it though, it really does. It's ridiculously sweet as well. So full of, so full of sugar. You can just tell. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm gonna stop drinking that because 
That is really already playing havoc with my stomach. I can feel it churning my insides up as I'm drinking it. Um, yeah, that is pretty bad. That is pretty terrible. I can't, yeah. I, well, I suppose I'm going to have to do a final taste before a final verdict, aren't I? So, oh well. Here it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not having any more of that. That is. Uh, that is pretty. That is pretty disgusting, to be fair. Um, I don't really know what I was sort of expecting with that, but wow, that that smell absolutely blew me away. I thought I was actually going to chunder on camera right then. Uh, do yourselves a favour, guys. If you have been tempted to try a Lambrini out, I would suggest don't. If you want a, a nice bottle of a uh, bottle of something to celebrate with. There's some nice uh, Proseccos out there that you can get. There's some, um, you know, some really nice you know, champagnes and carvers and stuff. I definitely would not recommend this one. Um, so, let, I'm, I'm, I mean, this is definitely going to be a sink job, so I'm going to pop the uh, pop the cap back on there. Uh, for, a final, for a final verdict, Lambrini Original is, well, very easily going to get a 1 out of 10. Oh, blimey. Now I know why I've um, been putting it off for so long. That That is definitely up there with uh, like the likes of Frosty Jackson, HCC Gold, in terms of badness. Um, oh, yeah, that, that wasn't good either. Um, so I'm going to cut it short here. I'm going to uh, probably drink some water just to... <laughs> just to sort myself out. And uh, that was another episode of The Side Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it. And uh, as usual, I'll be back with another delicious and tasty hide soon. Um, I've, I've, I've got to go and, yeah, I've got to go and tip the stand and sink myself out. So take care, guys. Till next time. I'm out. <laughs>